guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great today. Today we're back with the Wolf Among Us and we are continuing from where we left off. I am sorry this episode is a little bit late. I had a lot of stuff that I needed to take care of at work so uh, I was not left with a lot of free time for myself and my hobbies so I do apologize but we are back and we are continuing to hopefully unravel the story. Let's get into it. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see if there's anything for me to look at. Okay, okay. No, there's a little bit. There we go. This is Briar Rose's place. A Briar Rose. The Sleeping Beauty. Interesting. Oh, this one's open. Is that his? Crane. Okay. Snow said Crane lives in 1903. Thrushbeard? That's a horrible name. <laughs> what is that about? Okay, it is open. Why is the door open? Real question. Should I call him? I don't know if I should be calling out. Boy, what if there's someone in there? And maybe it would be better if I surprise him. Crane? Oh no. 12.05? What? What does that mean? Damn it. Must have missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. Okay. Straight to the wine cabinet. Same brand we found in the open arms. Guess that's good. Oh, interesting. There's a message. We should listen. Let's do it. Crane. Look, the crooked man is in happy compadre, and as much as I like making house calls, I have better ways to use my time. So, if you can go ahead and pay him by Friday, that would be great. All right? Everybody can stay upright. In the meantime, leave the light on, pal. Interesting. So this is another mention of the Crooked Man that keeps coming up. This hasn't been used in years. Merry Christmas, Mr. Crane. I forgot. He used to teach in the old days. D he did? <laughs> uh, the Headless Horseman. Oh, the memories. Okay. Money. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's Ooh. going on here? Uh. Leave. This is evidence. Dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. I'm watching you work. If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. <sighs> okay. Not sweet and all, but not the way to go about it in the way that he did it. Might be useful. That indeed might be useful. Okay. Is there anything else on this side? Come on. Keep moving. We apparently have only two hours. I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. I'd say. Math, science, history. 
I had to guess. This shit didn't work. Well, the creeping did, apparently. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> Is there anything else for me to see anywhere? Or do I need to go outside? Okay, why am I not finding anything else? Oh, I did not know there was more space around here. Cool. Good. Really? <laughs> really, really. Maybe this? No? Okay. Oh, hello. Hopefully. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, stay where you are. <gasps> I, uh, Jack. Wow, it is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, I'd say all the places. What are you doing? This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. You know, okay. I've always wondered. Explain yourself. Now. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know what I mean. Right. Work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done. I don't see any plants. Hey! Oh, oh God. Okay! Ah. You got me. Just take it easy. Don't make a big deal out of this. I don't like being lied to. Okay, okay. Talk. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You spell how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. And you heard this from? What does it matter? I hear things. It matters because I asked you. What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Did somebody send you and tell the truth? No, it's just me. Just take it easy. <sighs> yeah. Don't show him your weakness. You know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm trying to find Crane's witch. He's supposed to be heading there. Crane's witch? Is that why he took off? Who the fuck cares about any of that? I mean, don't you think, oh, I don't know, solving these murders should be your top priority? Crane's definitely involved in all of this. I just need to track him down. Then I'll know more. Involved? Do you think you're better? How do you mean? That's all I'm gonna tell you. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Sure. Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, no. squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Really? Go on, I'm listening. If you're looking for Crane's witch, well, I just happen to know who she is. If you're interested, information you comes now? at a price, though. How convenient. Convenient for you, Sheriff. I got the info you need. This is an easy win. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on, what do you say? I don't know. How about this? How about I tell you so you know I'm good for it? Then you can reconsider my offer. That okay? works better. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what kind of a deal he's made with her, but from what I hear, he's in pretty regular contact. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. 
but even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Mm-hmm. If it's the right All name, right. even. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. Well, uh, I think you've got plenty to keep you busy. So, I'll, uh... <sighs> Mm -hmm. It was just lovely. What's in the in. bag? Hang on a second. Oh, come on. What is this? Oh, you took that, didn't you? The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? Yes. The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark i guess figured i could sell these at the lucky pawn who lucky would pawn want these it's one of the crooked man's places i work there sometimes when i need some stability it's a pawn shop get it <laughs> yeah yeah you find any more of these uh no uh-huh you want to try that again <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that it? Pick me? Are you still here? We're in here, Snow. We? Who else is. He's gone, isn't What's he? What's he doing here? Oh, no, he's not gone. Good evening, okay. Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? Jack? Well, since Bigby seems to have lost his ability to speak, <laughs> I'll be happy to explain. I'm here to offer my services. What does that mean? I had some information about Crane and his witch I thought the business office might be interested in. Hmm. Oh, curious. What did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. That's what Snow the two hours for. Okay, that makes sense. Some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleaze ball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, Probably. I guess it doesn't matter yet. I think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it. I don't know. Mm, maybe. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. Wouldn't mm. she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. That's fair. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Uh, let's go to Holly's. I'll go to the Trip Trap. See about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to <laughs> talk to you. <laughs> yeah, Jack, you're not being let off easy. I don't think so. Okay. I completely forgot about the 2 a.m. I am so sorry. 45 minutes left, god damn it. <laughs> what? He's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. Where's what? Left? Hey! Ah. Hey, Gren. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in. Buddy. Okay, they're drunk. Gren, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search <laughs> of some hospitality, right? Yeah. Surely. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Where's Holly? She must be I the one who's drink. asleep. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? 
or what you say? Grant, it's true. Really, you shouldn't drink right now. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Too much drink, or what? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. Oh my. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. It's kind of sweet that the woods might is so worried about Grin. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. <laughs> Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. God damn it. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Agreed. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. That's fair. Ren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. <laughs> I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. I'm wasting We're all my time. Have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As Are you still going to be coherent faith. enough? I don't and know. After, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. I'm running out of time, Gren. I truly am. Oh no. Is he gonna collapse? Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, Jesus huh? Jesus Christ. You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Okay, guys. Please. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? What is the problem here? What, what happened? Stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. What? And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Oh my trick god. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. Okay. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? Oh, you can I think don't know. He wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Cause I'll tell you what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gray. He does not look like it wasn't a big deal, if you know what I mean. <sighs> I don't know where Lily's shit is. Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Fair enough. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Thanks for the... Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it... Seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? He's what a lot a friendlier day. now. Interestingly. Gren will remember this? Or won't remember this. That's good.
All right, Holly. I hope you feel better. I am so sorry about all of that. Uh, crate of alcohol. What is? What are we looking at? Okay. I guess let's check it. Okay! I did not mean to kick it. Uh, what is that gonna do? Oh, her things! Okay. How do we get it out from under her without waking her up? Okay, okay, okay! How lucky! Okay, good. Let's take it. Just quietly. Maybe take it out into the bar area instead of looking through it here? You know? Hey! Faith is there! I guess it makes sense. Uh, Hi! Is that you, Woody? Uh, Woody? Is that you? Uh. Woody, bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so you can run off back to the woods, I guess. He doesn't... she doesn't seem... that angry. You know? Hey, look! There, there's a Tweedle there. I should have gone there. I should have. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. Of course I cared. Uh, I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. He looked like he did. He truly did. Address book? Okay. Obviously, same thing that we solved before. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry for what happened. I'll make it up to you. Ah, yeah, sure you will, kid. When the rivers turn coarse and the sky bleeds fucking gypsies. <laughs> Fair enough. I bet it's going to be in the address book if there is going to be any information. I don't really need to look at the wine bottle unless it's going to provide me with some sort of a dialogue option later. Okay. All right. What do we see? Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. It was. But I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. He does. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. He's just... he's trying to do what's right. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> it feels bad to try to clear my own name well, through someone else's... you know him better than anybody, so... Someone uh, else's voice. I guess I'll take your word for it. Okay, let's not continue waking her up. Let's not. If you were getting your glamour on this day... One of these has to be the witch. I'd say. Can and we pick up the phone? Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Okay. Maybe if you're there, pick up, okay? Pick up. Pick up. Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Something. Her was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. 
It's an apartment complex. Great. Okay. Let's get going. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we got it. Big B. Oh my. I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Kick it down? I don't know. We're kind of in a wait, hurry. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? What does it look like? Don't just kick it in. We don't know what's on the other side. That's fair. Let's just save the last resort for last. Okay, fine. Makes sense? Fine, okay. What would you have me do instead? I don't know. Knock? I mean, we have no idea what's behind this. <clears throat> Hello? Hi. Hi. You what is... woke me up. Uh. Sorry about that. Is something wrong? Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. No, Dorothy, <laughs> it isn't. Sharp kid. <laughs> Dorothy's a girl's name, you know. And uh, if I was any less secure in my manhood, I might take it as an insult. <laughs> What's your name? Rachel. What's yours? Just so... I'm Bigby. This is Snow. Please to Are you the witch? How do you do? Is there, um... Is there anything you need? Is your mother at home, currently? I don't need a babysitter. I can cook dinner all by myself. <sighs> Something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? Oh, no, 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 no. Quick, and he won't touch anything. She didn't say yes. You just came in. That does look like a witch's place, I've though. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. That's not a good sign. Are you the witch? Okay, Bigby. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't okay. get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? I don't know. Crane. You could still be here. It doesn't necessarily mean that they would um, meet here. No one's been over all night. That your mom? Uh huh. This is Auntie. Interesting. What was on the lamp here? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Fucking witches. Okay, language, sir. There are children present. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Dowdy. What does that mean? Your mama hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. Okay. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Anything else that we can see? A tree. Cool. That is gorgeous. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Yeah. Um, like glamours? I guess. She no, probably yeah. would know, There's but I don't no know if she would say anything. But me. Okay, let's keep looking, even though we are completely out of time and probably losing everything. Where do you buy your clothes? At a store. Oh. My mommy makes all of my... Okay. The butcher? butcher? What's that? A package having to do with someone called the butcher. It's empty. Hey, Rachel, do you know anything about it? There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? I guess they See? met somewhere else. It's possible. Doesn't have to be her home, especially if she has a daughter. Okay. Um, something? I saw a spider over there. 
Why are you so shifty all of a sudden? I don't like it. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now? Please? I don't trust the kid. We are talking about glamours here, wouldn't it? Is that a Couldn't it be team? her? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please! Oh I'm no. You. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. <laughs> Anti-green leaf. I thought so. It hurts when you do it that fast. Hmm. What? Not sprightly enough? Why Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. That good enough for you? That's fair. Even worked on you? Didn't know you had a soft spot for children. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a child. <laughs> Where's Crane? Speak oh my. quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. Did you meet with you him? You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? Damn, I mean, okay. What on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. Okay. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Well, I don't want Crane's friends for enemies. Is it Crooked Man again? Protecting Crane. Who are you protecting? Get this through both of your skulls. I can't tell you. Just you being here is bad enough. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Is this another my lips are sealed Whatever thing? It is, Crane Leaf. Whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. I don't we think we can protect her. Idiot. Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. I don't you think have so. no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! Oh, oh my dear. god. Come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please. I don't know what to say. I really don't. Oh. <sighs> Look, I'll tell you what's going on. Just don't burn my tree. Crane was here, okay? He, he was here and he left. What he did she give him? He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? Yeah. He thinks it's the ring of dispel. 
You know that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. Just please, you can catch him if you leave, okay? Just leave, and don't... don't burn my tree. Okay. I'm convinced. I'm sorry. Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't. I'm curious, what would make her a sanctioned witch? Can't she just have another store as opposed to the ladies from the 13th floor? You know what I mean? Finally, kicking down the door actually you know what worked. Need to with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Sheriff, is there something more I can help you with? You decided you want to taste of the wares? Clearly. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. <laughs> okay. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know now. Mm hmm. Hey, Weasel. You can't just go in there. I just did. We have a problem. <gasps> oh tell no! Me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. Oh my God! Can you stop? This. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I. Oh my God! Big B. Wait. Don't. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. This girl. The girls, they'll back me up. I just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. I can't it's... talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. No, not really. How? I, I went to you. Damn you, come on. Please. <laughs> Tell me Snow, can you comfort her. the ladies, please? My While I'm doing this. Sealed. I need to the read through the Book of Fables. Let's do this after this chapter. How many years? <laughs> what? How many years has this been going on? Two. Too many. Oh, good lord. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I then just, talk. I, it just... Oh, God. We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's... That was... I just... I just love you, Snow. I love... I love you, and... and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm Brain sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. Oh my. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Okay. Bigby? I what? don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really <sighs> think this man murdered these women? That's true. He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. Thank you, my dear. It means so much. We've been chasing this guy. Just... Why now? Because look at him. Yeah, he's pathetic. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown, of using our money for his own... ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've yeah. both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this- Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? This fuck up knows more than he's saying. Uh... I don't! Yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. 
Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? I don't know. Crooked man? That lady on the phone? You know, when I saw you come back here... We'll find out who did it soon enough. Just trust us, Vivian. Vivian, that's what her name is. Okay. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. Okay, you know what? She can have her moment. I'm not saying anything. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. I don't care. Sometimes it's fuzzy. <laughs> You think you have what it takes to run that office? Look you at her. The guts on that I woman. Made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. Where did this come from? What I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. Better no. save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. Do we have handcuffs? Is that a thing that fables do? Okay, so he just let him talk to the girls? While he was on the phone with whoever. And I actually think it might be the Crooked Man because he, the name keeps coming up and uh, it can't be for nothing. Ow. Hey. Stupid girls and preposterous schemes. What are you saying? Yeah. Do tell. Good sir. Oh no. Is he gonna get shot? It's gotta be someone who Georgie talked to. That's great. Can the car make that turn? We can go, can't we? <laughs> of course. All right, what is this? The Tweedles, great. Who are you? What you got there? Oh, the woman on the phone? Interesting. I forgot about her. Well, I didn't, but... Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. Excuse you? It's about yay high, 120-odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told them anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here. Like a good doggy. Okay, who are you? Shut up. You go, Snow! You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? What? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh. Do tell. Bloody, Bloody Mary. Mary. That's it. Thank oh. You. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. Five they times? I thought it was three. When I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. <laughs> and I do that for a hobby. Like golf. To relax. This is my job. I like my oh job. Oh my. He's in custody, so move your car. I told you he'd never just give him up. <laughs> All right, Bloody Mary. What are we doing? Fuck it. Shit! Oh 
my god. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, the badassery. Oh my god. Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh my god. Okay, please get it. Oh my god! Holy cow! Are we killing him? We might be killing them. Can we throw it at her? <laughs> you missed me. Okay, he's alive. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't want to murder. He's a piece of shit, but I want to prosecute him. Instead. I'm sorry, Snow. You probably didn't see that coming. Oh god. Your gun could not have done more damage than those shotguns. It was a good show, but you know, it just didn't know when to end. He's not dead, is he? He's not dead. Holy cow! You know, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a ah. or werewolf. But as it turns out. No, 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 Right, Wolfie? Keep going. Hey, look, I know it's ridiculous, but really, guys. Can you argue with these assaults? Keep going, keep going, keep going. No, 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 no. Because I know I can't. Wait! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Uh, Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow, don't do this. Uh, who are you? It's what? a lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomachache? <laughs> oh my god. What a freaking scene. Oh, and just between us girls? Crane ain't no kill. No. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedle's day. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really. God! I'm jazzed about it. 
Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. What queen? I'm sure we'll be in touch. Jesus Christ, so lady! Okay, we are half dead. We did not kill a Tweedle. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh gosh, okay. <sighs> All right, we are in the Book of Fables and oh my God, I have not been keeping up with this enough. All right, clearly. Um. What I wanted to say, first of all, is that I skipped the, the next time on The Wolf Among Us because I don't want to see it, honestly. Um, I know it's not probably going to play out the way that I play out, not necessarily at least, but I still don't want to see it. So, here we are. Let's read. What are the ones that I missed and how? I wonder. Okay. Hello, you. Georgie runs the Pudding and Pie, a strip club that also caters to the unmentionable desires of Fabletown citizens. He has tried about everything there is to try in pursuit of worldly pleasures, but none of it satisfied him for long. He does seem to enjoy pushing people's buttons. Yeah, I noticed that much. He takes pride in his nightclub and doesn't react well to anyone meddling in his affairs. Well, we didn't break anything when we were around. Clever Hans always does exactly as he's told. However, he often misunderstands his instructions and ends up hurting himself or behaving oddly, as in the case of his noted fable, where he threw sheep's eyes at his wife. That's great. Unsurprisingly, she left him and now Hans works as a bouncer at Georgie's club. He hopes to dance on stage one day, but for now, he's content sweeping up and making sure the crowd doesn't get out of hand. Okay, Nerissa. Nerissa's story never had a happy ending. She's known as the Little Mermaid, the young girl who gave up her tail for a pair of legs in the hopes of winning the heart of a handsome prince. When he married a princess instead, Nerissa was left heartbroken. She made the journey to the mundane world, hoping for a better life. Now she dances at the pudding and pie, but each step she takes feels like walking on shards of glass. She has very little left, but finds some comfort in the company of her fellow dancers. Interesting. I also noticed that one of the glowing signs in the pudding and pie is actually a mermaid flipping her tail. I thought that was interesting. Poor Nerissa. Vivian, Georgie's girl. Much of Vivian's past is unknown since she prefers not to talk about her life back in the homelands. She wanted to start fresh in Fable Town, but she finds herself working for Georgie at the Pudding and Pie. It's not a terrible life. Georgie took a liking to Vivian, so he doesn't make her take jobs at the open arms. Instead, she plays hostess and helps Georgie ensure complete customer satisfaction. Is she the one putting spells on the girls, I wonder? Is that what that last line meant? Dr. Swinehart. Dr. Swinehart is the resident Fabletown physician, so skilled in the art of instrumental surgery that he can safely operate on himself. <laughs> he served as an army medic for many years, sometimes using his talents to impress the locals. He currently runs the special research section of the Knights of Malta Hospital. So named to discourage people from investigating what is actually a reserved, fables-focused health facility. The Headless Horseman. The Hessian Spirit. Interesting. Thought to be like the spirit of a particularly fearsome, especially macabre, German military contractor, the Headless Horseman lost his head from cannon fire during the Revolutionary War. Most famous for hounding Ichabod Crane one night in the woods of Sleepy Hollow, it is rumored that his phantom is only the most recent incarnation of a primordial demon, whose previous forms include a middle-aged chieftain who brandished a whip made from human bone 
and a Scottish lord who was decapitated in a fight over shares of land. The Trip Trap Bar. The Trip Trap was established in 1725 in secret by Starkad, the legendary Viking and reprobate, as a place for fables to meet and drink and commiserate. Known then as the Gramarian's Tavern, he eventually lost it in a bet to a tribe of mountain trolls who quickly renamed it and made it their own. Polly is the current proprietor, having inherited it from her mother when she died in a boating accident in the early 20th century. Okay. Auntie Greenleaf. Horticulturist, alchemist, and lover of animals, Auntie Greenleaf is one of the few rogue witches still living outside the 13th floor, unsupervised and unrestricted. Rumored to have lost a daughter in the homelands. I see, that's why the girl. She suffers paranoia and depressive mood swings, and will only venture outside at irregular hours under the guise of an ethereal white deer, an oft-whispered specter of Brookhaven natives. <laughs> Glamour tube? Glamours can be produced in a variety of ways, but one of the most common due to its ease of use is to take a small, hollowed-out tube or container and place it within several... And Place within it several items unique to whomever the caster wants to copy, a witch is required for the reactionary charm. Two downsides of this type of glamour is that totally unique appearances are completely impossible, and the nature of the vessel makes it quite unstable. Ring of the Spell, the Arthurian band, interesting. Reputed to be fashioned by a Byzantine clan in an attempt to ward off a coven of witches, the Ring of Dispel, or Dispelling Ring, or Magic Cancelling Ring, eventually was given to Lancelot by the Lady in the Lake. Recovered by the business office after the emigration to New Amsterdam, it was assigned to Greenleaf for caretaking. New Amsterdam! Oh, okay! So that was at the time when New York was still called that. That's cool. Bloody Mary, the urban legend. <sighs> the woman of the hour. The true history of the person known as Bloody Mary is almost completely unknown, even to fables most acquainted with its members. Her name, Mary, at least, is not up for contention. Nor is her penchant for shocking violence an inlaid resistance to magic and spells, and a strange ability to use any reflective surface as a portal, effectively shortcutting space and time. Thought by Mundis to be the wailing apparition of a childless ghost, though any evidence of that is as yet unseen. Curious. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Let's check out the next chapter. and Well, actually, the beginning of the next episode. Oh my gosh, we are alive and still human looking. Oh gosh, I don't blame him. Point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. Ha <laughs> ha! He'll be okay though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. That does not answer the if question. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Okay. Easy there. Try not to move. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. Oh. <laughs> Could you have at least secured the arm, please? <laughs> please baby, don't move it, doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. That's terrifying. 
and traumatizing. Profusely. Uh. Hmm. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. That He's still moves. Alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. What I else am I gonna do? That. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This. <sighs> Is the job quiet? Just relax. <laughs> I like this guy. Could you get him like Excuse a me, stiff Mr. drink but at least or something? It'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work. So if you wouldn't mind, stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please. I could do this with my optic nerves severed. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Okay. That's not what I meant to say. <laughs> hey, Doc. How much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. With what? Your hooves? Hey, listen, Please, lady. keep it down back there. With company. Thank you. <sighs> there. All done. How do you know? Great. Can we do this like an x-ray or something? Down. Having visits with me. And, well, this time. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss okay. White. Okay. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him. Please. Oh my gosh, are we going to die well, at the end of this? He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. I'm right here, guys. Come on. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. Swiney? That a beer. So, how do you, um, feel? Like shit! It's Big B, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. I, uh, yep, like garbage is how I look. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. I'm glad you're not dead. <laughs> Me too. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. Yeah. Maybe don't touch yeah. it. Um. That's, uh. It kind of scared the hell out of me. That's a bit sensitive right now. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were. You were really worried about me. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin. Colin. I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? 
Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, what is those he up to anyway? Options. I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder. It was a split second decision, and I don't care how it looked. I'd make it again and twice on Sunday. All right, I'm not faulting you. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? I or mean, what can I do? He's got Snow under his thumb. We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the Crooked Man want out of this? That's the question, he was just isn't it? Lone Shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't <sighs> be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? This is about those girls. And it'll always be about those girls. Nothing will change that. We'll see. What is happening? The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. Probably. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A That's little not fair. and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. <laughs> so, starting now... We do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Oh, that Pure probably won't work. Driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. Oh, we I'm sorry, monsters. that's gonna happen the again. fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help. Okay, I'm, it's going to be a Just rude answer, let that but side of you be done, okay? We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees. And that was the I right one. I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Jesus Christ. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? Thank it's you. Just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All uh, unglamored fans starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you going to let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. Why? I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Why doesn't the office provide glamour to those people? Wolf's That's residence. what I wonder. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. 
Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Who might that be? Narissa. Narissa. Oh, okay, that, that is not what I expected. Pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Ah, uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She Jesus. knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. <laughs> you don't say. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> She's a piece of work. She certainly took hey, charge, didn't she? you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. I don't even know if there's anything I can do about it. She is technically my boss, regardless of him ribbing her about it. Him being Colin. Oh no. <clears throat> Hello, Narissa. Hi, Sheriff. Hello, Narissa. Hi, Narissa. <sighs> Have a seat. What are you gonna tell me? Hopefully something good for once. I... um... Are you okay? No. You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around <laughs> if I came by. Don't be fooled by this. I okay. didn't get the worst of it. <laughs> yeah, you kind of did. You kind of did. Yeah. Maybe not the best decision here. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Charette. Wait a second. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. Yeah. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? No. What I mean Clearly. I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back okay. in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. Okay. It might work you're here because the crooked man just sent crane to the bottom of my list of worries and you have something you want to say about that right these lips are sealed okay that doesn't work if i could answer you just like that i wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you no i guess not all right sometimes we have to find our way through life on our own Grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. But now... They're gone. And I don't know what to do. Okay. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. Okay. And I... I don't have any left. Is Vivian not so good to I you? I hope you're looking after yours. 
are you? Look okay. around you. Who are you talking about? Okay. Are my friends in danger? I think I'm daft. <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... Okay. Take it's okay. Take your time. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. No, it's okay. Everything I is helpful. To say it. Ribbons. Faith War One Two. Is that Do connected like to it? a spell? I wonder. Hmm. Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Hmm. That's gotta be how the spell works. What are you doing? That spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? He, she can't Is there say something anything. I can do about it. No! Oh! Lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. Is there like a booby trap on this thing? Or something? Please. Don't. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Okay. I don't even... I get it. No, if so I could avoid ribbons, it. If you take them off... Oh, I'm sorry. Who put the spell on them? If anyone finds out I came here, go hide under the desk or something. I don't know. know. We don't know that. Listen, Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. Okay. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Fine, I won't Thank tell you. Snow. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. Interesting. So Beauty and the Beast do know something then, huh? Okay. That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's huh. something to it? Is this yeah, the right place to I do look? think so. What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? Hmm. That's what Nerissa was doing. Telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You hmm. know, Beauty came to me a while back. For money? She I was bet. looking for mm -hmm. financial assistance. Yeah. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Yep, yeah, and she sure did. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? Oh no. Okay. I thought there was going to be like another body to in to. there or something. Snow, are you? Are you being distant all of a sudden? I don't like it. 
want to tell me what you were into either. All right, I am going to end this here at the start of the new chapter. Curious about those ribbons. I suspected that there was something about them because, I mean, everyone has them. And I did not realize that they could be a spell, but I guess why not, right? But the question is, who put them on? Was it Georgie? Was it the Crooked Man? Is the Crooked Man a uh, shadow owner of Pudding and Pie? I don't know. I think it's not impossible. Because we did see the photo of the three girls together and one of the Tweedles was there. And Tweedles are definitely connected with the Crooked Man, so I think it would stand to reason that Crooked Man might be the actual owner of Puddin' and Pie, or at least uh, a majority shareholder, so to speak, <laughs> together with Georgie. So who knows? I am glad Larissa is trying to help. I hope I didn't scare her too much with um, with me attempting to take off her ribbon. I'm quite glad that I didn't just go and take it off outright. Because I don't, I don't know what would have happened, to be honest with you guys. If they are booby-trapped, like... Is that how the headless situation came to be in the first place? Did they, like, explode like that thing in one of the Saw movies, essentially? I don't remember what it was. I think it was some sort of, like, a collar that if you don't take it off right, it just explodes your head, so... Um... It's a bit gruesome, but the game certainly doesn't hold any punches, so that would not surprise me if that's the case. Anyway, I am looking forward to hear what Beauty and the Beast have to say to me. They are arguing in the room right now. I did hear that part before uh, going to the uh, main menu here, so... The argument was a little interesting. I suppose we'll find out next time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider leaving me a like and subscribing, like I always say, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.